Do you know why we're called King County? I actually don't. Uh, no. They don't know why it's called King County. I probably knew once, but I don't remember. It's been a question since I lived out here. Most people, I would say, do not know that the namesake of this county is the late, great Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. Do you think most people know how King County got its name? Uh, well, I do. I'm Eddie Rye, Jr. Boycott! Boycott! You, you, you! Been involved in various demonstrations of a long history of activism. King County originally got its name from William Rufus B. Devaney King, who was going to be the vice president with uh, Franklin Pierce, and he died before he could take office. He also was a slave owner as well. He was a rather cruel slave owner, but he was known to be pretty ruthless. The current King County, the name Martin Luther King Jr. County, began in 1986 when King County Councilmember Ron Sims and Bruce Olson I got a proclamation passed. However, years went by and we never saw any e evidence that it was actually Martin Luther King Jr. County. Do we want Larry Goss to go down to King County Council and tell them that it's time to start letting people know that this is Martin Luther King County? Do we want him to do that? In front of a couple of thousand people, I think, so I put Larry Gossett on the spot and charged him with getting it done. And I accept the people's desire. I would probably tease him, man, why don't you pull my coat and let me know you was gonna do that. My name is Larry Gossett, and I was, at the time that I served on the King County Council, the longest serving King County Council member, Eddie Wright Jr. He said, Larry, we understand that even though the County Council voted some I think you call it a motion to name this county after Dr. King is not real, bro. So we are asking you to lead an effort to rename the county in honor of Dr. King and to change that damn logo from an imperial crown, a king's crown, which is not very democratic either, to the image of Dr. King. What say you? Say, so yeah, I'll start it tomorrow morning, y'all. Some 2,000 supporters marched today in Seattle to replace King County's crown with a king. We made the whole march around the idea of changing the namesake to Dr. King, but it has to be the governor who gets the approval of both the House and the Senate, and that's the only way that a name change can be made to any county. Every year we went down to the state legislature to get them to formally change it. It did not work. What was the controversy, the pushback you heard at the time? Because people were calling their state representatives, state senators, telling them not to, not to support it. Every time it got public publicity about where we were at, that the name calling uh, and threats uh, began. And I got the same thing. I mean, I had the cops actually listen to some of the vicious, racist remarks that were left on my answering service. Did it ever sway you? No, no, not at all. State Senator Adam Klein introduced legislation six times before it passed in 2005. 99 to 2005, six years, that's a long time. And with that, my friends, I will sign this into law. And Governor Christine Gregoire signed the legislation there. <laughs> it took us another 13 months to have a Dr. King's image as the official logo. He had done things that uh, no one else had done. He had brought rights to people who had been denied rights. He was humanitarian. And it really resonated then by seeing his picture on the flag. Up here in the far Northwest, we have the only municipality in the country named for Dr. King. We'll always be able to call upon the meaningfulness of uh, having our county named after Dr. King. We're still having to draw upon that fact to inspire people to get involved. <laughs>